You know, as I kind of frame this up in my mind is on the left side, we've got some number of NFS boxes, whether it be NASs or servers or whatever. In the middle, we have this gateway thing. And then on the right, we have a big, probably single object store. And so it sounds to me like we're trying to fit a lot of stuff through a small pipe, and that could be a, a problem. But, Curtis, why don't you take us through some of the challenges that you've seen with some of these NFS gateways? You know, the first one that pops up there is is this idea that that each file is written twice, right? So it, it, this is this is really a, it's a it's an inefficiency. This idea that it has to be written to the the NFS gateway and then written to the object storage system. Well, that's twice as much that's twice as much I/O, and I/O is is never free, right? And so what ends up happening is that because the file has to be written to the gateway first, the gateway then becomes a bottleneck, right? So if you have a single gateway into the object storage system, no matter how scalable the object storage system, the NFS system ends up not being scalable. And then this idea that we do have to translate that file path into an object, and then we have to keep that file path, and we have to keep the relationship of that file to an object. So imagine what happens, for example, when you move something within an, within an NFS gateway, right? That, that thing that I talked about before, uh, if I move an object within an NFS gateway, the, the, that gateway has to keep track of the fact that that file, which is now over here, is associated with that object over there, right? So it's got to, um, it requires this, this database uh, to translate the two back and forth, right? So without that database, the, the NFS gateway becomes useless. 